welcome to Dream Bullock Art and the look that I'm going to today is my pumpkin patch scarecrow Halloween look for 2015 and I hope you guys enjoy this look. Any products I've used will be listed somewhere around the video and do not forget to go to Facebook and check out my page Dream Bullock Art and like it. Also do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel it only takes like 10 seconds and you'll be helping me out a great deal. If you've got any questions, comments or concerns feel free to contact me. No! Start the look off by painting your face completely orange and then taking orange and black eyeshadow from the Take Me To Brazil palette BH Cosmetics and eyeshadow brush you are going to draw on everything so the semicircle for the stem, the crevices in your face that will go extend down to midway of your face. Alrighty, once that is complete, use Marin Paradise Paint for the next few steps of this look. Go over these lines in black and this will make the look more defined. way to do this is painting an uneven zigzag and filling in those spaces. You will also round your face making it more pumpkin like with black paint. And yes you will paint your ears. You have to do that for this look. And once that is done create your carved pumpkin eyes with black paint yet again giving the holes a small flick at the end to make it look more detailed and somewhat scary. Once you have drawn on all the crevices for your pumpkin, you will draw on your stitches and thicken any lines that you want as exaggerated cracks in the pumpkin head. After which you will get wolf paint in white and highlight your stitches and the top of your zigzag mouth. I decide to then get cheap black eyeshadow and go over the highlights on my mouth to make it look less dramatic but left the stitches highlighted um, as it looks better and just makes the look pop more. Then you will use black eyeshadow to shade your pumpkin more. Last but not least, for the neck, create a spine using orange paint and black paint for the negative space. Using the same eyeshadow mixture from the start of this tutorial, sketch out and shade your spine. And then you are done. 